Hi there, in today's video we are going to talk about the deviation angle in aviation. You will understand by the end of the video why when you fly you read the heading that you got in your compass is different compared to the magnetic heading, alright? So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. I help you to become a better pilot. So if this is what you want to do, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to help my job, please give it a like to the video because this really helps the channel to grow. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into the whiteboard and let me explain you what it is the deviation angle when talking about aviation. All right, guys, as you can see in the whiteboard here, let me draw an aircraft in here, okay, in order to make sure that we understand what is this deviation angle. The heading of your aircraft, guys, is the uh, where is your nose actually is pointing. Okay, so your nose is pointing in that direction. If, let me draw in here the true north. Okay, T N true north. Okay, so as you can see from the picture, the difference between the true north and the aircraft nose is 90 degrees in this case. Okay, so this is a 90 degrees angle. All right. So, but this is not what the pilot will read inside the flight deck, looking at the compass in this scenario. Why? Because the compass that you've got on board takes as a reference the compass north. So in order to find out what is actually the pilot's reading, you need to know what is the difference between the true north and the magnetic north, and what is the difference between the magnetic north and the compass north. So once you identify where the compass north is, you can actually calculate the heading, what is reading the what is the pilot reading inside the plane. Okay? How do we do that? So let me change the color a little bit in here to make sure that this is a little bit more clear. So this is the true north. So the angle between the true north and the heading of your aircraft, the physical heading of your aircraft is 90 degrees. The magnetic north, guys, if you don't know what the magnetic north, I made a lot of videos, so check them out in my channel, okay? But anyway, the magnetic north is not co-located with the true north and is not always west of the true north. It can be east as well or west, depending on the situation. But for this example, let's say that the magnetic north is west compared to the true north, okay? So, as you can see already in this example, the, the compass, the, sorry, the magnetic heading is already different compared to the true heading, okay? And, but again, this is not what the pilot reads, okay? What the pilot reads inside the fly deck, okay, is the compass heading, all right? So, the compass heading takes as a reference the compass north. So, what the pilot actually reads will read this angle all the way down there. And this is the difference between the compass north and the magnetic north. Okay? Guys, the deviation is the difference, is the angle that is between, that there is between the compass north and the magnetic north. This is called deviation. Okay? Deviation. And you can find the deviation. If you look at your compass, you will see a table below or above that. And that is where you get your deviation. That's where the uh, is showing you how many degrees or minutes as the error is the error of the compass. Okay. But why it is important? It's simply because if you take the compass, you go on a field without any magnetic field, you will see that, that compass will actually point you the magnetic north. However, if you take that compass, you put that compass inside an aircraft, you will see that that indication will move a little bit. Why? Because every aircraft has got its own magnetic field and that magnetic field will actually produce and cause an error on your compass. Okay? So as you can see, the compass will actually point a north that is close to the magnetic north, but it is not because the magnetic field inside the aircraft will make this error. Okay? So when you need to understand, once, uh, if you want to know what the pilots are reading and you only know your true north, you need to know what is your variation and what is your deviation in the, into this aviation world, okay? The deviation can be easterly and westerly, okay? So what I mean by that? So as you can see from the picture, from the draw that I just made, in this case, you have to take the reference, the magnetic north, and since the compass north is at the left, is west, compared to the magnetic north. In this case, the, de the deviation is west. Okay, so the, the compass north is west from, compared to the magnetic north. So it's a westerly compass north, okay? However, since every aircraft has got its own magnetic field, it might happen that you've got an easterly deviation. So thus, 
and the next deviation that will mean that the compass north is in here and the uh, let me change that color in there and the magnetic north is there okay so whenever you read a deviation or a variation because it works the same you need to understand what is uh, if it's a easterly or a westerly deviation slash variation if as if it's a westerly variation that means that the magnetic north is west compared to the true north if it's a westerly deviation means that the compass north is west compared to the uh, magnetic north it, the opposite is true if you have an easterly deviation deviation means that the compass north is east compared to the magnetic north and if you have an easterly um, an easterly variation that means that the true north true north Okay, that, that means that the magnetic north is easterly compared to the true north. Okay, so you may have one or the other because, as you know, the magnetic north is not a fixed value and the compass north as well is not a fixed value because they all change on the field, okay, the location, the, uh, on the field, on the, on the magnetic field and on the location of your aircraft. All right, so I hope now it's clear for you what is deviation and how to recognize a westerly and an easterly deviation. If you have any question, please leave a comment below and I will help you out. Also, go to pilotclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.